Guys? Hello, you two us. I'm going to talk about how to make lamps. Oh, how you could make lamps out of the, out of the stuff you can, like, literally buy or, you know, or, or literally find in the trash or whatever you want to call it, guys. Well, I... I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you each of the different lamps I have to made. Not modified, but made out of uh, stuff I had here and stuff I had found. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the camera around, I guess. Oops. Well, here you go, guys. Here's three lamps I have made. Well, this has a click on switch, that's a Carlisle lamp, and that's a standard socket. Well, I want to talk about the bottles. How to make, this one's a little wet, I need to actually leave this one open more. Well, this is a white old bottle, like, you know, like a the alcohol bottle, actually. That's what this one is. But I'm not going to say where I got it or where I found it. But you can make a lamp out of this um, scrap stuff. And I also got this big giant bottle. It's also a non-alcohol style. But I'm also not going to say where I got it. But I got them out of the trash. Whatever. There you go. Well, <clears throat> here is one made out of a uh, skinny... Uh, uh, the skinny jaw made that. It was one made out of a a uh, root beer bottle. Here is one that's made out of one of those funky lizard bottles. Well, the all work just fine. Now I can touch you and show you the all does work. Let's go ahead and do this one with the fluorescent. This works just fine. Go ahead and flip this one on. That oh, might be too bright for my camera. Well, let's see. Let's turn that one off. And let's go ahead and flip this one. Well, how to make these lamps? You need some type of a base. Now, remember, these are glass, by the way. Okay, you are going to need stones to weight this down to make it heavier to sit in your um, lamp. This will be your lamp base. You can use a carved lava or you can get away with using a regular lamp socket and you can also put a shade on top of it. That's what I'm going to do with this one. Well, to let you know, don't uh, don't put sand in these because the oh, would leak out when you draw the hole inside the bottle. And when you are drawing, do yourself a favor. Stay away from the seam. Okay. Always stay just try to stay away from the seam as possible because when you are going to nail this or you're going to drill, you want to drill somewhere it's not as not not anywhere with the seam because that would be definitely the weak spot of the lamp. Now remember when you are drawing your glass, you could use a diamond bit or you could use a stone cuddle. Would be just a lot easier. It just heats up and melts the uh, glass. Now to tell you the truth, I had broke this before, but luckily I did not break it. Luckily, I know I got some hair on the side of it. Oh, I don't know how I got a hair on no. <laughs> Well, of course, here is the stuff you would need. You need a lamp cord. Or, you could use a stanchion cord like this one. Well, it's totally up to you guys. It's whatever you prefer to make. Well, you are going to need a grommet, wire, a lamp base, stones, your lamp socket and a shade and a light bulb to put all this together. And what does a grommet does 
it protects the cord from getting sliced on the shards of glass. Okay? Same goes with this one. Same thing. See? Grommet. Stones. Lamp. Base. You might need a screw connector, cap, and your lamp socket. Root beer bottle, lizard bottle, or what I would drink was in there, I don't remember. Well, this was the same, uh, same way, same, same design. You know, your stones, your anti-short, your, your rubble, your rubble, um, what, uh, rubble things. Grommets, rubber grommets. Sorry. <laughs> well, you can use a lamp cord just like this one. Or you can make your own like this one. Well, I made that on myself. Of course, that was the first bottle I made. And I kept making them. They were fun to make. Well, I'm going to show you the, a lamp over there. There's a lamp. It's also a good lamp. We have had that for a while and here's an only well those are made out of plaster well those are um uh, easy to break well where do you get these parts well one place you could get them is walmart home depot and probably lowe's oh on hardware uh, stores you can get all these parts most of my parts i got from lowe's they're very good. Well, let's talk more about lamp bases. Well, you got this big giant lamp. Right? This big, not lamp yet, but it's going to be a lamp soon. Well, you got this big giant bottle. Well, you need to figure out what you need. What type of diamond bit you need. And well... And you need to figure out where you're going to put it on your desk. Or a table. Or somewhere it's not going to be too big, it's not going to fit. Well, I typically go with the skinnier bottles. Because you can just sit nicely on the corner of your desk. Or your table, or whatever. Well, if you go too skinny... Or you can go skinny or if you want a root beer style bottle or whatever bottle you prefer to use. Well, you're going to use more stones. Okay, definitely in the bigger bottle. Now I'll be pulling off these labels and just going to... Now, one thing only you may not, cannot do is to sell these lamps. Well, you could if you want it. But I don't know if you could. First, one that has to be safe. Second, you don't want to be at fault of selling a, a lamp that's not going to work uh, properly. Well, I look at lamp cords of the type of gauge wire. Well, this is the cord I have made yesterday. And it just works just fine. Well, I uh, typically buy, now, instead of making my, instead of stripping my extension cord uh, apart uh, for the wires, that's how I made this one. Well, I go with the uh, polarized um, plugs. Well, you can go non-polarized, but if you decide to give these away to Goodwill, they are going to cut the end off of the plug. Now, some, some people just cut them completely to the edge, completely they would cut it right, right about here, and, and it's a pain, and then you have to rewire it. And I had done that before, actually. I had to rewire some lamps I bought from Goodwill. Oh, Goodwill's okay. 
Well, you can make these yourself if you find... Oh, even if you find this in the trash, or if you even found this in your own house, you can make something just like this. Long if you rinse out the alcohol out of this bottle, well, it's not going to smell like alcohol anymore. It's some soap and good old water, good old hot water would clean all that up. Now, what do I mean about your bases? Well, remember, say if you got a desk or a table, okay? Well, I will show you over here uh, on this table. Let me go ahead and move my sister's stomachs for one second. Well, you gotta pick a table, right? You gotta choose a table. Well, this looks good though. Looks nice and nice and small. Fits nicely though. Well, say if you take one of the bigger bottles, like this one, of course I have the label blanked. Well, look at the difference of going from big from small to big. Well, gotta think about your tables okay you gotta think about the size of the bottle you want now remember when you are drawing these don't force the drill bit to go through the glass let the drill bit grind the glass itself this makes it a whole lot easier because I will show you what I mean well, can you see right down there? There's a crack in this bottle here I had drilled so nicely to get the uh, bottle to be nicely uh, formed. But when the drill went too far in and it and impacted the uh, glass and cracked it. Well, you can use a Dremel, you can also use a drill. It's whatever you guys prefer to make out of these. Well, these are typically homemade lamps, but if you really want to make a glass, you can actually buy different cut of glass and make it a different way you prefer. Well, <clears throat> what I might do with one of these bottles, I might put stones. Or... I might put some pieces of broken glass in it. Well, I don't want to do that because it would cut through the cord. And that can be quite dangerous for the cord and it might short out the cord. Well, the wires you got to look for are how thick you want your cables to be. Well, this is a nice, uh, nice gauge wire here. This is good. Well, you can buy thin old gauge cable like this one. It's only probably a, tw uh, probably a 14 gauge. Typically, that's what typically these session cords are. This is a f uh, 14 gauge or 12 gauge wire as well. Well, these lamps I have made myself. Now, I had more of these, actually. That was, like I said, my first one. That's my second one. That's my third one. I have a fourth one. Right now, this is going to be my fifth or my sixth one. One, two, three, four, four, five, actually. Typically, I had six lamps, but I gave one to my, my uncle. Well, you can also scrounge up iron parts instead of going to the hardware store. One, you can scrounge out the socket and lamp on that side, too, to take out the stuff. Well, it only pretends it has a screw base. Well, these are good lamps. They all work just fine. Well, I give give you guys a test again. See, this one's a standard socket with a click on. Well, this one is not a standard socket. It's a cavalier of a lamp. Well, it's gonna have need a switch. Well, this one's also a regular socket, but it also still needs a switch to operate. Well. Uh, that's a Edison bulb, Edison bulb, and a Chinese made fluorescent bulb. Well, these are good lamps. Very easy to make. But, like I said, if you decide to sell these, you are going to have to make sure they are safe to sell. 
by whatever the law is, you gotta make sure. Well, alright, let's turn the camera around and talk more about it later. Well, I will keep you guys updated on some of the bottles like these. Very easy to make. Like I said, stay away from the scene because that would be your weak spot. And you can shatter the you can shatter the whole glass and you are going to you need would would have to get another one. Well guys, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, comment, and also share my video. Alright. Peace out. Bye guys.